Today we have another challenge, a math problem. How do we solve for the value of x, y, z? From the question, 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of y plus 4 to the power of z equal to 1092. Now, here we are given a condition. The condition says that x is greater than y, greater than z. In other words, s is greater than y and y is greater than z. In, so, in all, x is greater than z also. So, how do we solve this challenge? If you're new here, this is Online Mass TV, where we learn mathematics all the time. If you've not subscribed, subscribe, because we roll out nice math problem, solution to math challenges all the time. So, let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. Okay, so we take a solution. All right, look at the question here now. So we have four to the power of x plus four to the power of y plus four to the power of z equal to one nine zero nine two. Now, if you look at this question, we discover the base number here is four, all true. So what are we do here is to factor one of them out. Okay, so which of them am I to factor out? We must put into consideration the condition that is given here, that x is greater than y, and y greater than z. So if x is greater than y, if I start the factorization with x, it's going to make x the least values. Okay, if I factor this out from this system here, it will make x the least value. So based on this condition given here now, I will start factorization with 4 to the power of z. So let's factor out 4 to the power of z here. So this will now give us here 4 to the power of z out here. So we are using this to divide this. So we're left with 4 to the power of x all over 4 to the power of z. There plus 4 to the power of y all over 4 to the power of z. Okay, there plus. If we use this to divide this, here we are left with 1. Close bracket equal to one zero nine two. Okay, so what do we do here now? Now, if you look at everything we have here now, you discover that four to the power of any number will give us even number. All right, and here we are going to have even number from here, even number from here. So even number plus even number will give us even number. But immediately you add one to even number that makes it to be odd. So the whole of this system here is odd number, while here is even number. So let's play this one out here. Okay, now, because we have even number, sorry, we have odd number and we have even number here. So what we do, we try to bring out even number and odd number from this other side of the equation. So how do we bring out the even number? We consider the base number here, which is 4. So what we do, we use 4 to divide this. So let's divide this and see what this gives us. So we have here 1092. Then we have 4. So 4 here will give us a 2. Then 28, uh, 42, 20, um, and 9 rather. This will give us a 7. Okay. The remaining 1, bring it 13. Sorry, 12. So 4 here will give us 3. So we have 2, 7. Now this is a number. Okay, so we cannot split this into your even and odd numbers. So our expression becomes 4 to the power of z. This is z clicks bracket 4 to the power of x all over 4 to the power of z plus 4 to the power of y all over 4 to the power of z plus 1 plus bracket equal to. So we're going to have this to be 4 to the power of 1. Okay, times your um, 2, 7, and 4 to the power of 1 will still give us 4. So let's read this one here. Okay. So with this, this is your even number. This everything here will give us odd. Okay. Then here we have even and here we have odd. Okay. So we cannot compare odd and even. Right? So we cannot, that means we can equate this to this and equate this to this. So this will now give us here 4 to the power of z equal to 
your four, and this is to the power of one. So the base will take care of the set because they are the same, and we have equality sign here. So this automatically will give us z is equal to one. Oh. So we calculated our z to be one. So how do we get x and y from this other side? We take this side of the expression now. So we compare the odd with this side. All right, so let's continue on this side, you know. All right, so let's bring out this expression and this expression first here. So here we have um, your four to the power of x all over four to the power of z plus your four to the power of y all of our four to the power of z plus one, everything equal to two, seven, three. On this side, all we need to do is to move this one to this side of the equation. So if we do that, this will turn to minus. So if we subtract this from this, it's going to give us two, seven, two. So we have this to be your four to the power of your x there plus your four to the power of y. This is the power of 4z, here we have 4z equals to 272. Now, we calculated for our z to be what? 1. So, if we put in 1 here, this will still give us 4, 4. We can find the LCM of both sides of this. So, that will give us 4. So, we have this to be here 4. Here we have 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of y. Everything equals to 272. This is all of our visible one. So we cross multiply. So this will give us 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of y equal to. So we use this to times everything here. This will give us 10, 8, 8. Right? Okay. Now, again, we go back. How we solve this now? We go back to the condition again. Yet they say your x is greater than y. So what do we factor out here? x, y. The term having y. So we factor 4 to the power of y from here. So this will now give us 4 to the power of y into, we're left here, 4 to the power of x, all of our 4 to the power of y, then plus, this will give us 1. Close bracket equal to your 10, 8, 8. Okay, so what we do here? Again, we try to factor this, okay, to bring out earth and what? even because here we give us even number and here we give us even number but when you add one to it that gives us odd number so how do we factor this out now so let's divide again okay so here we have 10 8 8 okay so we go with 4 so 4 here we give us 2 bring me that 2 bring the 2 here that will give us 28 so 4 into 28 we give us uh, is a 7 okay all right yeah, so from here, we use 4 to divide it. This will give us 2. So 4 can equally go again. So we we'll have here 4 into this. What will this give us? So 4 here will give us um, 6. Okay, so bring the 3 to this side to give us 32. So 4 into this will give it to 32. That will give us uh, 8. So again, 4 again. 4 here will give us 1. Then bring the uh, 2 to this side, which is 28. 4 into 28 will give us 7. Okay, so we are going to have 4 to the power of 3. So automatically, we can split this to be your know, 4 to the power of y, bracket 4 to the power of x, all over 4 to the power of y, plus 1, equal to 4 to the power of uh, 3 times 17. So here we now have our even, yeah, the whole of this we have odd. Then here we have even number. And here we have our odd. So let's compare again. So if we compare even to even, odd to odd, we're going to have this to be 4 to the power of y equal to your 4 to the power of 3. So this, this list, because we have equality sign here. So we have y is equal to 3. So we've gotten our y to be 3. So compare this. What we do here now, it is easy. All we just need to do to just put down our values, we have 4 to the power of x, all of our, we have here 4 to the power of 
we've gotten our y already right so to the power of three then plus one equal to 17. okay so if we move this to this side that gives us 16. so from here we we'll have here four to the power of x all over four to the power of three this is equal to 16 because this one minus this will give us 16. so we cannot cross multiply because this is all over invisible one so let's continue this side again all right so from here look at what we do here is easy so we have here four to the power of x equal to you have your 16 times four to the power of three here so we have your four to the power of three you don't have to find the value of this all you need to do because four sorry 16 can be expressed in base four okay which is four to the power of two so we now have this to be four to the power of x is equal to four to the power of two times four to the power of three the bases are the same and we are having a multiplication sign here so what we do we add the powers so we have here four to the power of x equals to four to the power of what five the bases are the same again and we have equality sign so we have our x is equal to what five so we succeeded in looking for our x y z so let's bring out the value of x y and z from here and see if it satisfies this condition here okay so we have here our x is equal to five the y equal to uh, what is so for for our y three and our z is equal to one now if you check these answers here now you discover that x is greater than y greater than z so it therefore satisfies the condition to say that x greater than y greater than z okay so this is all i have for you but I, again what if you are told that your x is less than y less than z what do you do in that regard you start your factorization from your four to the power of x here okay so if you do it that way around you discover that your x will be smaller than y and y is smaller than z okay so this might be end to this video tutorial if you learn something from this video tutorial give it a thumbs up and just leave a comment in the comment section below Remember, I'm your friend, Jigs Anemo. I love you because you are the reason for the existence of this channel. Bye for now.